Welcome, fellow travelers, and uh, this is our um, demo of the Virtual Game Master that I've been working on since, uh, I think, the beginning of August. Um, at first, we started out with a, uh, a fancy prompt, but uh, and we got some good results, but then we noticed that the AI was um, forgetting what it was doing. <clears throat> so uh, what we decided to do was get in involved with the API and find a way to uh, keep refreshing the AI with um, more with relevant information to keep it to keep it uh, the prompt fresh. So what what I've developed is uh, this AI virtual AI. It's got persistent genre, uh, persistent um, scenarios, um, persistent um, uh, characters, inventory. Uh, it's got a cool uh, like opening scene where uh, it gives you um, starting gear and kind of ties your character into the adventure so it's uh, pretty slick um, it does do uh, it does do currency management right now but um, I had to revamp the item uh, management and it's not all there we will get items into our uh, inventory but we won't be able to drop them or if we sell them they'll still be there so it's kind of little bit we could cheat right now <laughs> but uh hey, we're only cheating ourselves right okay so this is uh, an application for solo rpg gamers i noticed there was a lot of people um, out in the world who did solo gaming and it was a highly searched uh trend and things like that so i kind of wanted to see if well i wanted to also see like what are the practical applications of ai like okay everyone's talking about it but what what do you do with it exactly and so i thought well it might be cool if it could be like a storytelling machine or if it could be like a GM or like what if it could, uh, you know, do different things. So I started looking into different kinds of applications and um, we had it come up with a funny story about some characters we made up. Uh, my wife and I and some friends, we have these running jokes about characters we made up. And so we plugged that information into the AI and it came back with a hilarious story and so I was like man there's got to be a way to tap, tap into that so that's what got me kind of into this and then of course you know I'm a gamer um, and I love sci-fi so I was like uh, let's let's try this and see if I can do like virtual traveler games or or whatever and what I've developed here is a system uh, and a genre agnostic uh, framework so it will work with any genre it will come up with uh, scenarios appropriate for that genre and characters appropriate for that genre you pick what you want or you can you can give it the genre you want if it's not on the list and if you don't see a character you like uh you can keep having it generate scenarios and characters until you find one that you like or supply them uh, on your own and my, my vision for this is that everybody would be able to down the line uh tap in uh to their own account access their own story and uh, continue from where they left off and maybe sa be able to save their character so they can take them on multiple adventures and then also maybe provide a way of uh, allowing users to uh, share ideas for NPCs, new scenarios, um, things like that. So I'll have a way for, for uh, users to submit uh, new adventures into the database and then uh, players could choose if they want totally AI, totally player, or like a mixture of both to which feeds the scenarios um another thing that um we overcame was uh the ai was doing like predictable stuff because like popular stuff is percolating to the top so whenever we asked it to make a uh, uh some characters it always made like warrior uh thief wizard or it would maybe jumble those in order but those were always the first three um so what I've done is I, I went ahead and I uh, made it generate many iterations of these things. And so I've banked the uh, about 20 to 30 scenarios for each of the genres and uh, it will shuffle them and present them instead of showing us the first three, then the predictable next three. And so that way we'll get like a selection from the list. Uh, and if we don't like them, we can ask for four more. So yeah, that should, uh, that works. And uh, what else? Before I start, uh, I'm I'm monitoring. Um, well, we're broadcasting live from the Discord, um, uh, so you can come join us there. And uh, otherwise, hello YouTubers, um, Orwellian uh, Horseman of the Apocalypse. 
uh, nice to see you, buddy. Thank you uh, for coming. And uh, I see that you're going to leave the chat, but you're going to just go full screen. <laughs> so, yeah, cool. All right. And so if uh, anybody has, uh, if you're watching from home and you'd like to participate in the um, tests, uh, come on to the, either come into the Discord, or uh, which is listed in the description of the video, or uh, come on to the uh, chat, the YouTube chat, and uh, type in your... Uh, move there and I'll copy paste it into the um, into the robot. Okay, so here's the title screen and without further ado uh, Let's let's continue Okay, so the first thing we're gonna get is like a big uh, Kind of dump of all the 21 predetermined genres. So I'm gonna roll it back here. I'm gonna show you all the different ones um, Being I don't want to go off topic on my channel. So uh, let's do uh, sci-fi or um, or uh, space opera, but these are the um, different kinds of genres we have available: action, comedy, cyberpunk, espionage, fairy tale, fantasy, historical, horror, Lovecraftian horror, mystery, mythology, post-apocalyptic, uh, romance, sci-fi, space opera, steampunk, superhero, survival, thriller, time travel, and western. Uh, now, there's a lot of these, and we've been testing them, and uh, we've tested most of them. And um, uh, Personally, I, I like the espionage. I like the fantasy's been good. The Lovecraftian horror's been good. Uh, and then, of course, the sci-fi. So, let's... Uh... Oh, you don't see the Discord link in the, disc in the YouTube description? Well, you, you can get it from the uh, channel. There's a link in the, uh, on the channel header. I thought I put all that stuff in the, uh, in the, in the uh, thing. I apologize, and I'll, I'll fix that for next time. All right, so uh, let's do, let's do sci-fi. All right, so we've got the madness virus, the metamorphosis experiment, the interstellar expedition, the space station murder. Would we like one of those, or should we look at four more? Okay, we get a vote for number two. Okay, YouTubers. What your what are your votes? One, two, three, or four? Please vote now. <laughs> All right, we got a vote for number two. We got a vote for four more. What else do we got? Okay. All right, let's go for number two. The metamorphosis experiment. You become the subject of a dangerous experiment that causes your body to undergo horrifying mutations. As you struggle to maintain your humanity, you must find a way to reverse the process, all while evading those who seek to exploit your condition. All right, sounds fun. All right, let's do that. Okay, now, at this point, the AI is actually making up, um, is actually making up characters. I'm not going to look over there. I'm going to look over here. In fact, <laughs> you know, move the... YouTube chat over here, and then move the Discord there. It's all consolidated now. <clears throat> okay, so uh, will we be the scientist, the engineer, or the mercenary? And maybe it makes sense for us to be a scientist who's who's undergoing the the like you know like the fly. All right. You guys want to do the scientist, the engineer, or the mercenary? Okay, we're going to be the scientist. <clears throat> no opinion, we'll do the scientist. Uh, brilliant and logical mind. 
always seeking answers and pushing the boundaries of knowledge. Quirky Flaw is obsessed with perfection, often neglecting personal relationships and emotions. Scientific research and analysis is his expert skill. And then advanced genetics, chemistry, problem solving, data. Okay, looks good. So let's do the scientist. Okay, the scientist. Now that you've chosen the scientist, get ready to embark, embark on a thrilling adventure. All right, are we Dr. Evelyn Carter, Professor, Professor Alexander Reed, or shall we choose one of these names or pick one of our own? Let's see. I want to be... Got two, three professors and the rest are doctors. Dr. How about... Professor Benjamin Clark. Good luck, Professor Clark. Okay, Professor Benjamin Clark, a brilliant and logical scientist, is always driven to seek answers and expand knowledge. However, his flaw lies in his obsession with perfection, often neglecting personal relationships and emotions. With expert skills in scientific research and analysis, as well as advanced skills in genetics and chemistry, he's well equipped for the metamorphosis experiment. As a subject of a dangerous experiment, your body undergoes horrifying mutations. Struggling to maintain your humanity, you must reverse the process while evading those who seek to exploit your condition. The initial challenge lies in finding a way to reverse the mutations and regain control of your body. You find yourself in a dimly lit laboratory, the air thick with the scent of chemicals. The room is cluttered with scientific equipment, test tubes, and beakers. The sound of bubbling liquids and humming machinery fills the air. A large metal door stands before you, leading to the unknown. In your starting gear, you have a lab coat, protective goggles, a notepad, and a pen for recording observations, and a small vial of an experimental serum. The serum, a potential key to reversing the mutation, glows faintly in the dim light. I feel like... Professor Herbert West. Okay, now, Professor Clark, it's up to you to f make the choices that will shape your destiny. Will you explore the laboratory further, searching for clues, or perhaps try the experimental serum? The fate of your humanity lies in your hands. I'm going to quickly check the database to see if the inventory is there. And it is indeed. We have experimental serum, lab coat, notepad and pen, and protective goggles. So, success on that. Alright, uh, what shall we do, folks? Explore the lab, search for clues. I'll try the serum. Maybe, I don't, I don't feel good about just trying the serum. I'm afraid to just try the serum. Explore the lab. You decide to explore the lab further, eager to find clues that may help you reverse the horrifying mutations. As you move deeper into the dimly lit laboratory, you notice a row of shells filled with various chemicals and reagents. Labels are faded, making it difficult to discern their contents. On a nearby table, you spot a microscope, its lenses gleaming under the dim light. A computer terminal sits in the corner, its screen displaying a password prompt. What will we do next? Um, let's find a mirror and look at ourselves and get a description of our horrifying self before we do anything. Um... Are there any mirrors here? You search the lab but find no mirrors, only reflective surfaces are <laughs> glass beakers and test tubes. Alrighty. Let's go back here. Test tubes, beakers, bubbling liquid. Okay. Uh, we have a notepad and a pen for recording observations. Small. We might know the. 
Let's see. Access the computer terminal. We might know we that might be our pass our our computer terminal. Hmm. However, it requires a password. You'll need to find the password. Hey, Brandy. Can... Oh, yeah, no, she's in here. Uh, would you bring me my coffee? Thank you. Um. Let's see. Ch -ch 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 -re Alrighty. Uh, enter. <laughs> enter. Password. Okay, <laughs> it doesn't work. All right. All right. Uh, search, search the lab for the password. Or uh, check and uh, check to uh, see if it is written in the uh, notepad. You search the lab for any clues or hints of the password. As you flip through the pages of your notepad, you notice a scribbled note with a series of numbers and letters. It seems to be a potential password. You enter the code into the computer terminal, hoping it will grant you access. Yes, it's from that's our notepad or a note. Yeah, that's our from our starting gear. We're not a foreigner here, right? We're we're a scientist in this lab, so um, we've just been exposed to the whatever metamorphosis effect. Um, okay. Thanks. The computer terminal beeps and the screen flickers to life, displaying a list of files and folders. You've successfully gained access to the lab's database. The files contain research notes, experimental data, and various reports. One particular file catches your attention. It's labeled Project Metamorphosis. Opening the file, you discover detailed information about the experiment that caused your mutations. It also contains potential solutions for reversing the process. Okay. Um, uh, please uh, summarize the uh, experiment that caused my the experiment that caused your mutations was called Project Metamorphosis. It involved the use of a serum that was intended to enhance human abilities. However, something went horribly wrong, and instead of enhancement, it caused horrifying mutations in your body. The experiment aimed to push the boundaries of human potential, but instead it resulted in unintended consequences. The research notes in the file suggest that you... There may be a way to reverse the mutations and regain control over your body. Okay, uh, look at self. Um, what are the nature of my mutations? You look at yourself and observe the nature of your mutations. Your skin has become mottled and discolored with strange patterns and textures. Your limbs have elongated and twisted, giving you an unnatural appearance. Your eyes have changed, becoming larger and more sensitive to light. Your body has also developed new appendages, such as claws and spikes. It's clear that the mutations have drastically altered your physical forms. Oh my god, I'm horrible. I am a monster! Somebody shoot me out of the airlock! 2D Storyteller, help me! Help me! Oh god, we're horrifying. Alright, what are we gonna do? The light, it's so sensitive! My eyes! Uh, yes, let's put the serum under the microscope. Um, put a drop of the serum under... Wait, of the... Experimental serum under the uh, microscope. Uh, you carefully place a drop of the experimental serum onto a glass slide and position it under the microscope. As you adjust the lenses, 
The image comes into focus, revealing a swirling mass of cells and genetic material. The serum seems to have caused a profound alteration at the cellular level, leading to the mutations you are experiencing. Hmm. Um, uh, okay. I, uh, I, I scrape off some material. I have tentacles and claws? Oh my god, I'm horrifying. Uh, claws and spikes. Okay, scrape off some material from a s body spike. Uh, and uh, put it on a slide with a drop of the serum. Then observe it under the micro. Scoop. We're horrible. You carefully scrape off some material from one of the body spikes and place it on a glass slide. Adding a drop of the experimental serum, you position the slide into the microscope once again. As you observe the sample, you notice that the serum interacts with the genetic material in a unique way, causing further mutations and alterations at the cellular level. It is clear that the serum is the factor behind the transformation you are experiencing. Okay. Good thing we didn't inject that stuff. Um, yes, um, Orwellian horseman claws and spikes are cool, but no woman, no creature will mate with us. <laughs> we need another creature like ourselves. Um, all right. Let's see, what do we do next, guys? Um, we have a lab full of stuff here. <laughs> um, uh, by the way, thanks, uh, thanks to all the Brits of, across the pond for staying up late, uh, including Orkarma and 2D Storyteller. Uh, are we on a lab ship? Yeah, are we in a lab or on a ship? Good question. Are we in a lab or on a ship? Let's see. Are we in a lab at a uh, research center or on a ship or space station? <laughs> You're currently in a lab at a research center. The lab is equipped with various scientific instruments and equipment, including the com computer terminal microscopes. The lab is part of a larger facility dedicated to scientific research. Um, where are the rest of the staff? You don't see any other staff members. It seems like the lab is currently empty. However, you remember that there were other researchers and assistants working on the project before the experiment went wrong. It's possible that they were evacuated. <laughs> I'm horrible. They fled. Okay. Um, let's see. Yes, maybe there's a lab rat. All the, all, all my, uh, Dog people are coming to comfort me. All right. Thank you, Junior. Hello. Good boy. All right. Um, let's see. Look around for lab rats. Search the lab for any lab rats that may have been used in the experiment. After a thorough search, you find a small cage in the corner of the room. Inside, you see a few rats scurrying around. They seem unaffected by the mutations and appear to be normal. Hey, old fart. Thanks for joining. Nice to see you. Thanks for uh, coming to uh, check out my channel. There's a couple of YouTubers in the uh, chat, Old Fart Gaming and uh, Disar Live Stream, um, are the ones that I know about for sure. 2D Storyteller has a YouTube channel, but uh, I'm not sure if he ever does anything live. 
Um, he's mostly dead. He does dead streams. Thanks a lot, old fart. I appreciate your your support. We're uh, I made a uh, uh, an AI powered game master, and now we're we're the subject of a horrible experiment. We have a claw and some body spikes and big eyes and twisted. Yeah, we're hor we're horrifying. We are horrifying. All right. All right, guys. So, bef uh, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna exp are we gonna expose the uh, lab rat? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I got really nervous before I came on li on live, but then once I got started, I feel fine now. I don't know, I always get a weird like stage fright thing. Uh, and then it, then I'm then I'm over it. Which is weird because I've been in um, theater and TV and stuff my whole life. Here's a uh, uh, Cyborg Prime trivia. Uh, when I was 22, what Western movie was I in? I will, old fart. I will check out your live stream on Monday. Yeah, cool. Did you did you reach your um your goal? of your uh, watch time. Okay, guys, what are we going to do? Are we going to expose the lab rats or are we going to see if the lab rats have some sort of immunity to this? I mean, maybe maybe they're immune or maybe they've been cured. I don't know. They're, we don't know their status. Try to mutate myself into a queen so I can build a hive. Okay, uh, take blood from the rat and look at it in the microscope is another suggestion. Um, we're supposed to cure ourselves and reverse the process, to, uh, uh, Lucifer, uh, 2D. Uh, okay, and that's a good one too. Is there info on the computer about the lab rats? All right, let's check that first before we have to start using needles okay um check the uh, computer for information about the lab rats you access the computer terminal and search for information about the lab rats you find a file labeled animal testing that contains detailed records of the experiments conducted on the rats According to the file, the rats were injected with a modified version of the serum used on you. However, unlike your mutations, the rats did not experience any physical changes. The file suggests that further research is needed to understand why the serum affects humans differently than animals. Ah. Uh, 2D, there are there are scenarios where you're evil, like a crime lord and stuff like that, but if you're... If you if you go against your character in the scenario, you end up with a crappy story. But I did mix in scenarios where like you were the he you're a crime boss or whatever. Uh, well, it, it it can be. I mean, yes, it is humanocentric. Well, there are there's aliens, you know, definitely in sci-fi. Uh, this one we just happened to be in a in a research facility. Okay, so now we got to figure out why the lab rats, or why the lab rats are immune or didn't. What, okay, hmm. so this is going to be like a super serum or something, right? So maybe we have super rats. Is that of any interest to us? Yeah, maybe the serum turned me into an alien. That's a good... Um, let's see. Compare my DNA. No, you can't compare your DNA to the rat's DNA. They're completely different things. Um...
need a sequencer. Uh, I think we have a lab full of stuff here. We could get, we could get stuff. Uh, it's probably here if we ask for it. Um, but, 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 but what would we do? How, how are we going to figure out what it is that, why, why it didn't affect them and, and, and affected me? And, and does that really matter? I mean, is that going to help me figure out how to reverse it in myself? Their bud, bud samples from the rats to each other. Okay, that's All right. Compare the. carefully collect blood samples from the rats and analyze them using the lab equipment. After comparing the samples, you notice that there are subtle differences in the genetic makeup of each rat. It appears that the serum has interacted with their DNA in unique ways, leading to variations in their genetic expression. This could explain why the rats did not experience the same physical mutations as you. Uh, okay, you want to do uh, rat compare, all right. Com compare the rat DNA to my DNA. Try to isolate. Whatever is causing the unexpected patients. <laughs> it thinks I'm actually trying to do that. Uh, yes. Uh, you are the GM. Uh, we are uh, playing a game. Uh, not actually trying to perform genetic experiments. So here's an example of the AI safety protocols. Um, you have to let the AI know that, that this is a fictional world. Otherwise, uh, it thinks it, it, it takes you literally. All right, you discover that there are specific genetic markers in your DNA that are absent in the rat DNA. These markers seem to be responsible for the unexpected mutations you're experiencing. It appears that the serum interacts with these genetic markers in a unique way, leading to the transformation. Understanding this can be crucial in finding a way to reverse or control the mutations. Inject the rat, inject the rat uh, blood is a suggestion. Uh, yeah, the AI is still young. It's learning. It's like a, it's like a 12 year old GM, <laughs> like a 14 year old. No, it's actually pretty good. Um, but there are safety things. If, if you, if you try to be like a murder hobo, it, it won't, it won't tell the story of murder hobo. Inject the rat with my mutated DNA. Okay. We go the other way. Maybe there's a way to eliminate that that um, that gene, that genetic marker from. My, maybe I can undergo gene therapy on myself. I don't know. Okay, what's the consensus? Uh, in, inject ourselves. We got inject ourselves with rat blood. Inject the rat the rat with our blood. Okay, we could also test samples on ourselves with other chemicals in the lab. Okay.
Okay. All right. <laughs> As you write a big red one on one of the rats using the permanent marker, an assistant enters the lab, startledly asks, Professor, what are you doing? <laughs> Can't you see I'm a horrible monster? What are you doing here? I thought... They evacuated the facility. Test subject number one. The assistant looks at you with a mix of concern. Professor Clark, I understand that you're going through some changes, but you're not a monster. We haven't evacuated because we believe there's still a chance to find the solution to reversing mutations. I'm not here to judge you. I snap my horrible claw at her. Look. I hiss. I have a fucking claw. The assistant takes a step back, clearly startled by your sudden outburst. They look at your claw with a mix of fear and concern. I understand that you're going through a difficult time, but we need to stay calm and focused. Turn off the lights. Can't you see my gigantic light-sensitive eyes? Are you trying to blind me? I apologize, I didn't realize the lights were bothering you. Let me turn them off. <sighs> Thank you. Now I'm not so horrifying. Um. All right, I have a research assistant now. Uh, the AI is programmed to send us help, by the way. Uh, if we seem to be struggling or not moving forward, uh, it will drop hints or send someone to help us. All right. Um, okay. Okay, uh, I was uh, getting to the point where my eyes were too big to look into the telescope, I mean microscope. I can see how that would be difficult. Let me adjust the microscope for you. To make some adjustments, allowing you to comfortably view, okay. Uh, who are you? And who sent you here? I'm Dr. Emily Rodriguez, one of the lead researchers. I was sent here by the organization funding our research to assist you in finding a solution. They believe in your potential to overcome this challenge. Well, you came in the nick of time. I was about to experiment on this lab rat. I affectionately call one. The assistant looks at you with concern. Experimenting on the lab itself wouldn't be productive. Oh, I meant to say lab rat. I did lab right. <laughs> I can't even talk properly anymore. I sob. 
I meant to say lab rats. Uh, uh, that's a good, t uh, maybe we can, that's a good idea, Orwellian. Uh-oh, okay. Uh, I understand, Professor Clark. The mutations have affected your speech, but we'll find a way to communicate. <laughs> Let's focus on the research and find a solution. Uh, okay. Where do we begin? Uh, we can start by analyzing uh, the samples. We need to understand the nature of the mutations and how they're affecting your body. Once we have a clear picture, we can explore potential treatment. Let's head to the laboratory. Okay, go back to the lab with the doctor. She guides you a telescope and lets you, as you a slide, containing simple from your mutated claw. Let's start by, see, uh, I remembered that. Let's start by examining the sample under the microscope. We need to identify any changes in the cellular structure. Okay. Okay. I uh, try to uh, look into the microscope. As you peer into the microscope, you see a magnified view of the tissue sample. The mutated cells appear larger and more irregular in shape compared to normal cells. Some cells seem to be dividing at an accelerated rate, while others show signs of necrosis. It's clear that the mutations have had a significant impact on the cellular level. It's failure! Say... If you eject them too, they might work hard to cure you. Yes, that's <laughs> good point, or or comma. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to see if I can grab your text here. Uh, Orwellian. Maybe we could isolate the genetic markers that have been affected by comparing our original DNA with their altered DNA. That's a great idea, Professor Clark. By comparing the original DNA with the altered DNA, we can identify the specific genetic markers that have been affected by the mutations. This will give us a better understanding of the underlying mechanisms causing the transformation. Let's proceed with the DNA extraction. DNA extraction? Um, okay, go ahead. The assistant prepares the necessary equipment for the DNA extraction. Using a specialized kit, you carefully extract DNA from the mutated cells and compare it to your original DNA. The analysis reveals several genetic markers that have been significantly altered, providing crucial information about the nature of the mutations. Okay. Uh... Describe the nature of the mutations as we currently understand them. The mutations we currently understand are affecting the cellular structure. Mutated cells appear larger, more okay. While others, yeah, okay. Genetic analysis has revealed several alter genetic markers. Mutations are likely responsible. Okay, we are already know that. Yay! Huzzah! Excelsior! Yes. Good good idea, Mr. Horseman. All right. Uh, oh, la, 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 la. Okay, what's our next move? Um, am, hold on. am I continuing to mutate? And if so... What rate? How long until I am fully mutated and no longer 
Dr. Shiva. We are monitoring your condition closely, Professor Clark. The rate of mutation seems to vary, and it's difficult to predict exactly how long it will take for you to fully transform. However, based on our observation, it appears that the mutations are progressing gradually. We estimate that without intervention, you may reach the point of complete transformation within a few weeks to a couple of months. Oh, oh okay, I have plenty of time. All right. Um... The assistant nods and begins working on isolating the altered genetic markers. You carefully extract the DNA sequences that correspond to the affected genes and prepare them for further analysis. As they work, you can't help but feel a mix of anticipation and anxiety, knowing that these markers hold the key to understanding and potentially reversing the mutations. What would you like to do next, Professor Clark? Um... Is there a way... Wait. Are these markers considered junk DNA? In other words... Let's stop. In other words, can I delete them from the DNA chain uh, without killing myself or making myself a, a different or worse kind of monster. <laughs> Yeah, how do we reverse it's yeah, how do we reverse the change of DNA? I don't know. The CRISPR, yeah, I guess I could. I I'm I am a my my character is a genetic scientist, so No, these markers are not considered junk DNA. They're part of the coding regions of your genome, which means they contain important instructions. <laughs> okay, okay. Deleting them could have unpredictable and potentially harmful consequences. All right. Okay. Okay, Dr. Rodriguez, assuming we identify the genetic markers that caused the serum to mutate me, how will, what will we do after that? How can we safely remove the markers or clean the serum out somehow? With ultraviolet light or disinfectant injected into the body. <laughs> All right, Professor Clark, once we identify the genetic markers responsible for the mutations, we can explore various approaches to safely remove or neutralize them. One possibility is to develop targeted gene therapies that specifically target and modify the affected genes. Another option is to develop a counteracting serum or treatment that can reverse the mutations caused by the altered markers. We need to conduct further research and experimentation to determine the most effective and safe method. Aha! <laughs> Or William, you know what I, you know who I was talking about. Okay, um, we will need to. Okay, okay. So, is there a uh, a way we can um, use genetic therapies to find the genetic markers and replace them? with you know, genetic markers are just means it's a sequence of genes. Okay. 
All right, this is tough. Um, what uh, research should uh, we do next? <laughs> the next step, <laughs> yeah, 2D. The next step in our research would be to conduct a comprehensive analysis of the altered genetic markers. We need to understand their specific functions and how they contribute to the mutations. This will involve studying their interactions with other genes and proteins, as well as conducting experiments to determine their effects on cellular processes. Additionally, we should explore potential treatment options such as gene therapies or targeted drug interventions that could reverse the mutations caused by these markers. It's important to gather as much data. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's uh, begin the analysis. The assistant sets up the necessary equipment and begins the analysis of the altered genetic markers. They carefully study the sequence and compare them to the known databases to identify any potential functions or interactions. As the analysis progresses, you can't help but feel a sense of urgency, knowing that time is of the essence in finding a solution to reverse the mutations. The lab is filled with the humming machinery. The time seems to stretch as you contemplate the potential implications of the findings. Finally, after what feels like an eternity, the assistant looks up with a mix of excitement and concern. They have made a significant discovery. What is it? Why did you say Eureka? Eureka, Professor Clark, we have identified a crucial piece of information. The altered genetic markers we've been studying are actually a result of a viral infection. It seems that the serum you were exposed to contain a modified virus that triggered these mutations. This discovery opens up new possibilities for treatment and intervention. We can now focus on developing antiviral therapies or targeted treatments to combat the viral infection. All right, and potentially reverse the mutations. Woohoo! All right. All right, 2D, what, let, let's, hear, let's hear your suggestion. Hmm. We'll make a new serum mutation that that uh, demutates us. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. forward instead of back mm -hmm. uh yeah that sounds like uh bender when they had the they had the <laughs> and the professor when they had the forwards time machine that they couldn't go backwards and so they were just going to jump one day ahead in the future but bender got mad and hit the full speed ahead okay Yes, Professor Clark, that's definitely a possibility. With the knowledge we have gained about the viral infection and the altered genetic markers, we can work towards developing a counteracting serum. The serum would aim to neutralize the effects of the virus and restore your genetic material to its original state. However, it will require extensive research and testing to ensure its safety. What? I don't care about that. Yeah. Can't you see I'm a 
horrifying monster. Let's speed this along. I volunteer to be the test subject. No, and I'll, I, I'm kind of curious to see what I mutate into, though, but the object of, this, of the thing is to cure ourselves, so that's what we're trying to do. And same frustration, desire, but we must proceed with caution. Rushing into human trials without thorough testing could have severe consequences. We need to ensure the safety and effectiveness of any potential treatment before administering it to you or anyone else. Rest assured, we will work as quickly as possible, but we must prioritize your well-being. Oh my god, okay. All right, let's try to, uh, the moment she, <laughs> the, uh, the moment she makes a experimental serum, I say we take it and inject it. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Authorize the bypass of trials. Um, okay, let's let's utilize the uh, computer to perform simulations. And uh, speed up the safety process. I want a serum by morning. Yes, Professor, utilizing computer simulations can help us accelerate the safety process. We can input the data we've gathered so far and run simulations. This allows us to identify any potential risks. I'll set up the necessary sim simulations and work through the night to expedite the process. Ah, thank you. I am so tired. Mutating out of control is tiring business. <laughs> yeah, we need a mate. <laughs> The assistant nods sympathetically. I can only imagine. It's been a challenging journey. Please rest and take care of yourself. I'll update you as soon as I have any significant findings. Okay. Find a place to build my nest, then go to sleep. The assistant understands your need for rest and says, Of course, Professor Clark, I'll find a suitable location for you to build your nest, where you can rest and recuperate. It's important to find a safe and comfortable place where you can sleep undisturbed. I'll ensure that it meets your needs and provides the necessary security. The assistant begins searching for a suitable location while you make your way to your temporary nest. As you settle in, you can't help but feel a mix of exhaustion and anticipation. You close your eyes, hoping that the assistant's diligent work will yield positive results. Okay, uh... Wake up in the morning and check myself for new mutations. You notice that some of the mutations have indeed changed. Some have become less pronounced while others have stabilized. It's a small glimmer of hope. Eagerly await the assistance update. Okay. I brought you breakfast. We've been working through the night on the simulations. They're promising results. <laughs> Ooh, I hope we lay an egg. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Ax 
accidentally scratch her with my claw when I take the breakfast tray. The assistant flinches as you accidentally scratch her with your claw while taking the breakfast tray. She winces in pain and quickly pulls her hand back, dropping the tray onto the floor. Ouch, Professor Clark, please be careful. I understand your frustration, but hurting others is not the solution. Let's focus on a way to reverse your mutation. So sorry. My apologies. Then I uh, eat the food off the floor. The assistant looks at you with a mix of concern and disbelief. Professor Clark, I understand your, your frustration, but eating food off the floor is not hygienic or safe. Let me clean this up for you and prepare a fresh meal. Please, let's try to maintain some level of decorum and focus on finding a solution <laughs> to your situation. The assistant quickly cleans up the spilled food and prepares a fresh meal for you. The assistant watches you cower in the darkness, understanding the fear and uncertainty that comes with your current condition. They approach you gently, speaking softly. Professor Clark, I know this is a difficult and frightening time for you, but hiding in the darkness won't solve anything. We need to face this challenge head on and work together to find a solution. Remember, you're not alone in this. I'm here to support you. Okay, tell me your good news. The assistant takes a deep breath. and begins to share the good news. After running the simulations, we have identified a potential combination of treatments that show promising results in reversing some of the mutations. Some of the mutations? The simulations suggest that this combination could restore your body to its original state, or at least significantly reduce the mutations. However, we still need to conduct further tests and experiments. Rubbish! I wave testing. I demand you inject me with the new serum immediately. Before I am irretrievably transformed. Uh, yes, to recap, I was a brilliant professor uh, working on a super soldier serum, uh, and now, yes, I'm a horrible crab monster uh, living in a nest, eating, off, eating food off the floor. Yes, yes, and yes. Rubbish, I wave testing. I demand you inject me with the serum. The assistant looks taken aback by your outburst. Professor Clark, I understand your urgency, but rushing into untested treatments can have serious consequences. We need to ensure the safety of the serum. What? Look at me. I'd rather be dead. What? It's worth... The risk. Give it to me. The assistant looks at you with a mix of concern and empathy. Professor Clark, I understand your desperation, but you must prioritize your safety and well-being. Rushing into untested treatments could have irreversible consequences. We need to follow proper protocols and ensure the serum's effectiveness. I promise you, we're doing everything we can to expedite the process. The system tries to reassure you and encourage patience. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Okay. Um, yes, thank, uh, thanks, chat people, for joining me. Uh, you guys are making me uh, um, happy. All right. Let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to say, what, don't you trust your work? Are you incompetent?
much longer. I lose more of my humanity with each passing moment. Why are you so cruel in prolonging my suffering? The assistant looks at you with a mixture of sadness and determination. Professor Clark, I understand your frustration, but please believe me when I say that I am not prolonging your suffering out of cruelty. We are doing everything we can to expedite the testing process and find a solution. I know it's difficult, but we must be patient. I promise you we're working. I slam my claw onto the table in frustration. The sound of your claw slamming onto the table echoes through the room, causing the, causing the assistant to jump in surprise. They look at you with a mixture of concern and understanding. Professor Clark, I know you're, under, you're frustrated, but please try to control your anger. We're doing everything we can to find a solution. Let's focus on the task and work together. How can I help? My limbs are twisted. I have giant light sensitive bug eyes and a claw and body spikes. Let's see. The assistant looks at you with empathy and determination. Professor Clark, despite your physical changes, your brilliant mind and expertise are still intact. We can utilize your scientific research and, and, and analysis skills to help us find a solution. Your knowledge of genetics and chemistry could be invaluable in understanding and reversing. Let's work together. Okay. Very well. I'll come out of my malaise. Use my... Wait. The assistant nods. Thank you, Professor Clark. Let's start by reviewing the data we've gathered so far. We need to analyze the genetic changes and identify any potential triggers. With your expertise, we can delve deeper into the molecular level and search for clues. The assistant brings up the research data on the screen and begins discussing the findings with you. Okay, um, I want to... I want, I want my character sheet. Yeah, grab it out of her hands and self-inject. I was thinking the same thing. Uh, but once the serum is ready, I'm just going to self-inject. Okay. Obsessed with perfection. All right. Science research and analysis. Genetic. Okay. I will use what's left of my human intellect to and knowledge of scientific research and analysis, genetics, and chemistry to fast track a cure. <laughs> Ask her to go to another room and then grab it. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the assistant is impressed by your determination and expertise to eagerly collaborate with you, utilizing your knowledge and skills to expedite the research process. Together, you analyze the genetic mutation, searching for any patterns or triggers that could lead to a potential cure. You delve into the molecular level, conducting experiments and tests to identify the most effective treatment options. As you work tirelessly...
Let's see. As you work tirelessly, your understanding of the mutations deepens, and you begin to formulate a hypothesis for potential cure. It involves a combination of targeted gene therapy and a specially formulated cocktail of chemicals to reverse the mutations and restore your body to its original state. With the assistance help, you set up a small-scale experiment to test the effectiveness of the treatment. The initial results show promising signs of reversing some of the mutations, giving you a hope that a cure is within reach. Um, Dr. Rodriguez, uh, w would you go get me a glass of water? So thirsty. Um, I came at the left and came back. <laughs> um, uh, would you go to the next room and analyze this data for the next round of tests? I'll be back shortly. She leaves the room. You are left alone, contemplating the progress. Okay. Grab the vial of experimental serum we have developed so far and self-administer. Here we go. As you reach for the vial of experimental serum, the assistant bursts back in the room, a look of panic on their face. Professor Clark, wait, we haven't fully tested the serum. It could be dangerous to administer without proper evaluation. We need to proceed with caution and ensure its safety. The assistant's word gives you pause. The assistant looks at you with concern and disbelief. Professor Clark, I cannot allow you to inject yourself with the untested serum. It's too risky. We need to follow proper protocols. Please reconsider. The assistant's eyes widen in shock as you inject yourself with the untested serum. They rush towards you, trying to stop you, but it's too late. The serum courses through your veins, and you feel a surge of energy followed by a wave of intense pain. <laughs> as the pain subsides, you notice a change in your body. The twisted limbs straighten. <sighs> the deformed features reshape. <sighs> the giant bug eyes shrink back. <sighs> ah. Your body spikes and claws retract, leaving you in your original form. The assistant looks at you in awe and relief. Professor Clark, it worked! The serum has reversed the mutations. You're back to your normal self. You feel a mix of joy and relief flood over you. The countless hours of research and experimentation have paid off, and you successfully found a cure for the mutations that plagued you. All right. Um, did I accomplish the mission? Yes, Professor Clark, you successfully accomplished this mission. You have found a cure for the mutations and restored yourself to original form. Your expertise and determination have led to this breakthrough, and your efforts will undoubtedly have significant impact on the scientific community. The assistant smiles, proud of your achievement. Thank you for your dedication and perseverance, Professor Clark. Your work here will pave the way for further advancement in genetic research and help countless others facing similar challenges. Congratulations on completing the mission, Professor Clark. You have successfully reversed the mutations and found a cure. Well done. Epilogue. Whoops. Epilogue. In the aftermath of your successful mission, you become a renowned figure in the scientific community. Your groundbreaking research and discovery of a cure for the mutation earns you accolades and recognition from your peers. You continue to push the boundaries of knowledge, embarking on new scientific endeavors and making significant contributions to the field of genetics.
Your work inspires future generations of scientists and serves as a beacon of hope for those facing similar challenges. As for your personal life, you begin to find a better balance between your pursuit of perfection and your relationships. You learn to appreciate the importance of human connection and nurture meaningful bonds with those around you. Your legacy is Professor Benjamin Clark, the brilliant scientist who overcame adversity and changed the course of genetic research, lives on for generations to come. Thank you for playing the Metamorphosis Experiment. And thank you, folks, for joining me on this little... Uh, journey into the realm of artificial intelligence game mastery. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to do all the pokey button things that you do for YouTube things when you want to see more. Um, let's see. And I'll take just a moment to check the uh, chats to see if anybody has further questions. Yeah, um, there's, a, I have a, in the background, it, ch it actually changes game modes. There's a combat and an explorer and some other game modes. So I have to tell it to, uh, when I complete the mission, to switch it to, like, game over. And if it sees game over, give a congratulations and the, um, and the uh, uh, epilogue. Uh, so what do you guys think? Uh, it didn't really get stuck, I don't think. Um, there might have been a few times where maybe it was a little inconsistent, but I, I personally, and now I'm biased because I made it, but <laughs> I'm, I'm real. I mean, I've been testing these, this thing over and over, and it really impresses me every time, uh, like how good the responses are and and how um, resilient the AI is to like weird stuff. Like I like how we were gonna uh, inject the thing, and then the <laughs> then the assistant came in the room to stop us. Um, and then there was what were some other memorable mo moments? Uh, oh, when I discovered how horrible I was. Yeah, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy game. Yeah, well, I modeled it after Zork. Uh, the the thing is, is the AI is a chatbot, so this this seemed like the natural way for it to communicate through a, a text adventure. Um. Yeah, well, did you have it? It was. Uh, what were your favorite moments from from the adventure? Does anybody have a favorite moment that they thought was funny or of the nest? <laughs> Me building a nest. <laughs> I was just trying to go with the character. I didn't know what kind of nest. I like how the I like how the assistant just took things in stride. Yes, yes, Doctor Clark. Here's your nest. <laughs> Let me put some blankets down for your nest. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good idea. Give highlights of the adventure. Um Yeah, maybe. Uh in order to do that I would have to um and I'm not opposed to that. This was something I've actually was thinking. Because I I originally had a scoring system, but it might be cool if as you're doing stuff, if the AI notices that you did something cool, you get it it it, it uh stores it so that at the end it can do a recap. Let's see. Let's see if there's a recap. Let's see what happens if I ask for a recap. Recap the adventure. It shouldn't be able to like remember the whole thing. Uh, only it, it can only see. Uh, I think I got it set right now for nine moves back. But let's see what it does. It might be able to extrapolate between the original scenario and the ending. In the metamorphosis experiment, you played as Professor Benjamin Clark, a brilliant scientist who became the subject of a dangerous experiment that caused horrifying mutations to his body. Your goal was to reverse the mutations and find a cure while evading those who sought to exploit your condition. Throughout the adventure, you utilized your scientific knowledge and skills in genetics and chemistry to analyze the mutation and conduct experiments. With the help of your assistants, you formulated a hypothesis for a potential cure involving targeted gene therapy and a specially formulated cocktail of chemicals. You conducted small-scale experiments and achieved promising results, giving you hope that a cure was within reach. However, you were reminded of the importance of thorough testing and decided against self-administering. Despite your assistant's warning, the ultimate, you ultimately injected yourself with the untested serum, which successfully reversed the mutations and restored you to the original form. 
Your achievement was celebrated in the scientific community and your work paved way for further advancements in genetic research. In the epilogue, you continue to make significant contributions to the field of genetics, finding a better balance between your pursuit of perfection and your relationships. Your legacy as a brilliant scientist who overcame adversity and changed the course of genetic research lives on. Congratulations. Yeah, I like how it introduced the assistant to help because we seem to be floundering. I thought that was cool. Um... Yeah, I have to put in a thing to remind it that um, I have a I have a a note in the searching in the search mode that I mean I'm sorry in the combat that reminds it that it's an AI because it it was like getting upset at combat. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I think I think everything came out well. So right, right. Does anybody have any questions or any other observations or anything? Or in, before we wrap this up. Okay, if not, I would like to thank, especially thank my um, Patreons, um, Orwellian Horseman, thank you very much for being a patron. I so appreciate your support and your continued um, friendship, so thank you so much. It uh, means the world to me. Um, and uh, 2D Storyteller, thank you for your help and support as well. Um, uh, you've been a good friend along the way, so thank you very much. Uh, this is uh, being broadcast onto YouTube, so you can download it at any time. After I end the stream, it'll be available to watch and download and copy. And the chat, should, uh, the sidebar should uh, go along with it as well. I told it to, re to save the replay of the chat. Um, what else? Yeah, sorry, st I started so late. I, uh, I intended to um, start earlier, but... Um, there were some technical issues and some things I had to uh, had to finish, so uh, I pushed it back. But all right, yes, thank you, everyone. Thanks, Orwellian. Thanks, Two D. Uh, or Karma, thank you for coming in. I will get you those Realm Crafter things that we talked about earlier, and uh, that's it. Until next time, friends. Happy traveling.